Ibby, this one's for you. He's been asking for a long time to get a beetle video. And this is the beetle video. The plan is simple. We're gonna be building completely around Axolotl. Throw as many perks in battle as possible. Just over and over, scale them up real quick. As we all know, beetles get its own perk at the start of battle, and with Axolotl, it buffs it permanently every time it gets a perk. This took a long friggin' time, I won't lie. This is not the greatest build ever, but we made it work, we got there. Hope you enjoy. Hmm, <laughs> I guess we're running a beetle. <laughs> I didn't even click on him. I like Baku here. Baku is kind of fun. Ladybug is a natural fit with the beetle as well. Some gushing bubbles. I wonder if the the ladybug long term is actually going to be a good option. There's a chance, I think. Now, I don't know how large of a chance, but there's a chance that it works out. You really just need to get a lot of health on it, right? And that's the tricky part. Like, how do you ensure you get the health that you need? So that it's not just a glass cannon. Okay, start me here. Go here. What do we got? Cassowary. I mean, that's some amount of scaling. Maybe we try a trout, though. A little fur-bearing trout. Hold on to a hatching chick, perhaps? I guess we don't need strawberry, do we? I don't know why I didn't my mind that we needed strawberry. Okay. Okay, we get the draw. <laughs> I'm glad they're trigger limited on those lizards. Otherwise, we would have had some issues. Okay, we go here. So we're looking for some wall chicken. Because it's nighttime with the Baku. Oh, baby. Thank you very much. Okay. This gives attack and two health. This is effectively very nearly a turkey leg, which is just fantastic. Let's get this beetle cooking, you know? Let's see how far we can push it. A little 8 8 beetle out here. Don't mind if I do. Oh, baby. Oh baby, this is looking great. I am loving this already. All right, um, ooh, now this is tough. I would love to run a griffin here. Hmm. Hatching chick is tempting because we need to get some levels. But like maybe not, not immediately, right? What if we go mole? We go gingerbread, that doesn't really make any sense. On you. Maybe the mole doesn't do anything yet? <laughs> Maybe that's the play? I'm not sure yet. We're, we're gonna have to take a good long look at this one. Okay. I mean, this is looking fine. Get a whole bunch of mana cooked up. Beautiful. Hatching chick is back. Hmm. Ladybug. We need to decide. I don't think Ladybug is going to be the play. And I should have sold Ladybug prior with that in mind, but here we are. Huge. Okay. And I guess technically we should put the Baku thing on you. These are like basically the same stats.
Mm. Gummy toad build. All right. We go here. Okay, tell you what. Let's go here. Let's grab a... I mean, Nial is just good. So we can go here. Catching chick? Sure, sure. Another pie. Maybe stack up a tar would be pretty good. Okay, we deck we get him back. Okay. <laughs> that was almost bad. A lot of snipes. Okay, we're good. Let's go here. Probably time to ditch the Baku. As much as I hate to say it. Baku's one of the OGs, but gotta happen. So next turn we're gonna get a treasure chest. Tier 2, level 3, not bad. Oh, that's looking a little risky. <laughs> a little dangerous, perhaps? But we draw, we're good. Still at 4 hearts, by the way. That's fantastic. What do we get? Frigate Bird, huh? Frigate Bird's a little interesting. You get the Frigate Bird Microbe Axolotl Strat. You gain plus three, plus three on three guys in battle. <laughs> Not very exciting, but it's something. Um, you could also just not and then play like Microbe Unicorn, which is just generally better. All right, well, I hate to do this to the hatching chick again. No, maybe do this. Go here. you. What do we get? A little funky, perhaps. Micro, we get the hatching chick. Chocolate phoenix. We could switch out the mole for a phoenix, or we could just put microbe down. Either one works. Either way, we need to get an axolotl first, before that makes any amount of sense. <laughs> it's terrible news. Alright, too many snipes. I don't like it. What if we do this? I hate to do it to the beetle, but we gotta. We go here. And now we're looking for Axolotl. Hatching Chick probably doesn't need to be buffing you. Well, that was like probably the worst way <laughs> those little Scorch things could go. Feels bad, man. Any Axolotls out there? Axolotl? There he is. Okay, hold on. We need to keep the hatching chick. I guess we don't technically need the whale. Okay. <laughs> this feels... Feels like it's not gonna work. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. We're just getting a whole bunch of whatever. Nothing. 
Not a darn thing. All right, we got the hatching chick, but I think we're a little late. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, look at that. The huge, oh baby. <laughs> it's so bad. It's terrible. Look, I'm trying. It does not need to be a tier five. Make it a tier 4 and it's going to be a little bit more reasonable, but it's so difficult just to get anything going in battle. And then he has to like survive too. We could do a double ladybug, but what if we don't? <laughs> These misshaped stickers. Just, you know, what if, what if, let's just entertain the possibility. Hmm. Okay, maybe we throw in a ladybug. We're definitely going to need a strawberry. And I guess by that logic we go hummingbird, but maybe not two. Maybe two. <laughs> It's unfortunate we haven't found any duplicates yet. It's a bit of a struggle. But our health total's looking alright, so that's always nice. Okay. Kill you, see if we get anything good. Romb Rambutan? Rambutan? Not bad. Do this. Just toss in a frigate bird for a second. Could be worse. Now, of course, we're not getting any hummingbird value, but I wasn't really tied to it anyways. The extra 2-1 is pretty whatever. Um, let's go here. I'd really love to just get some levels. That's fine. And I mean, high key. It's nighttime, we got Baku, we got wall chicken. What if we just send it on somebody? Oh, actually Frigate Bird is gonna make that a little weird, isn't it? Interesting. So we can't actually do that. Right, because Frigate Bird, when it gets the, the weakness, it's gonna override it and give it rice. Which means Baku isn't going to get to trigger. Well, that's a little anti-synergy right there. It's unfortunate. Okay, looking good, looking good. Oh, oh, we're fantastic. I mean, the start is looking all right so far. Sure, sure. I think it's time you go. Maybe we can get a hatching chick. We don't have the sport for a mole yet. Ox is pretty good. Run something like this. Um. Let's give him a croissant. And then we'll at least get some attack scaling going. Looking good. Get the snipe on the ox there, that's huge. Um, ooh, not quite, okay. We were very close to drawing that one. Tell you what. Let's do this. We'll get a level two hatching chick next turn. That's gonna be our play. And then we'll wall chicken on you and you'll get rice, I guess. <laughs> Not that that's super exciting. Oh boy. Dude, that, that guy just zoomed. Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know why, it feels like the brain cramp just cooked super quick up to the front. Level you. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I think you gotta go. I know there's synergy here, Axolotl, Microbe, Frigate Bird. I don't, I don't know if I see it. I think we just rely on the natural things we get going here. Let's get rid of you. We'll give you weakness. I guess we should have done that the other way, shouldn't we? <laughs> Whoops. We'll give you something else anyways pretty soon here. Okay. So now, you're going to get a rom Rambutan, Rambutan, um, which is just going to get overwritten, but that's totally fine because we're looking for stats. Really, the, the Rambutan doesn't matter as much. We're just trying to get some stats cooking out here. Look like at that, you get double. Okay, that's fine. The scaling is ready. Kind of. It's getting there. <laughs> Roll me. Level me. And now you get two plus one plus ones. That's huge. Give you some grapes. Why not? Um, no really reason to level you. It's just not necessary. Get a potato for the axolotl for the snipes. And yeah, we don't need more than level two ox. We only got one trigger. Cool. I mean, if we can, if we can get it level two axolotl, that would be huge. Aside from that, we're just kind of cooking out here. Beautiful. Look at the breakpoints on that. That's too good. Okay, we go here. Let's roll. See what we get here. Um, I mean, no reason to really overwrite these guys. It's a shame we haven't found more hatching chicks. That would be very nice. But such is life. Maybe it's time to ditch you. Hold on, so we get, so we get to up to eight. And then we pay five plus four. We won't quite get you to level two if we sell the hatching chick here. We could actually, if we give him a gingerbread. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. Let's do this. Okay. We can go here. I'd like to keep the, the potato, but let's just set it up for next turn. With the understanding that it's not gonna be level two in battle. Looking good. I respect the chicken grind for sure. I've been there, tried that, haven't we all? Very rarely works. Alright, what do we got? Um, if we could get a level 3, that would be huge. Um, we don't have one currently, <laughs> so... You know, we're pretty close though. I think we could throw it in. With the understanding that we almost have the level 3 on you. Oh baby, look at the scaling now. <laughs> oh baby. We are scaling up a storm out here. Alright, we, we gotta get the, the trout going. That is our primary focus. This does not count. Come on. Come on. Not quite. Okay. That's fine. We'll roll for it. Of course, one more roll gets us there. Okay. I do want to try the good dog questing whatever. Um, see, that's why we got the snipe protection. But I just don't think it's... Uh, don't think this is the, the environment for it. I like our team right now. Okay, now we level you. I was hoping we get another hammerhead there. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been nice? Let's go here. Mm, one more roll. Not much there. We could look for the hammerhead. Maybe we just take a, a pair. Let's roll. 
get the chocolate on you next turn. That's not bad. Might not even really matter. Okay, yeah. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> At least we got some scaling in battle from it, but yeah, that one, that one hurt a little bit. Um, I think we keep doing what we got here. Try to get you level 3 would be the next logical step. Let's do this. Get you a bit, a little bit cooked up, you know? Potato's also tempting, but we don't need it. Not necessary. Hey, this is right up our alley. <laughs> we can play this game all day. This is fantastic. Try to get the Axolotl. I think that's our target. That's how we get to the ultra late game power spike, whatever you want to call it. There it is. Might as well throw you in, right? I guess we're on turn 9, is it? I don't have any good... Any good perks to put on him. But it is a turkey leg, effectively. No. I like our perks right now. Throw you on in case we lose or draw. Okay. No snipes? That's a good sign. We can handle that. Not a problem at all. <laughs> it hurt. It killed his entire team. And ours was fun. And the the max level axolotl achievement. And the, the fur bearing trout. Dude. I love it. It's very difficult to get this to work. If it works, you know, it's kind of fun. Disgruntled pots. <laughs> Take the draw, okay. Sure, sure. Prepare for next turn, seems good. And we're doing it. We are doing it. Get the draw, that's fine. Two draws in a row. They aren't losses. That's what matters. Um, hair? Sure. Let's go... I want to run a Bigfoot here. Hold on to the wall chicken for later. Okay, we'll use it now. Hold on to the wall chicken for immediately. And we're doing it. How many times can we draw in a row? Let's find out. Okay, we go here. Throw to you. Throw in a couple stoats. Probably getting rid of the Baku, I would think. Well. <laughs> two levels. We get two opportunities at a tier four. We'll take it. Another draw. <laughs> hey, keep them coming by all means. I mean, unicorn's kind of cracked. Low key. You do this and then you do this. That's 5 2 right there. 5 2 in stats for what? Nothing? Sounds pretty good to me. Okay. So we'll brain cramp. Every time we find a wall chicken, we'll put on the brain cramp from now on. Well, that's unfortunate. The Ogopogo's kind of cracked. They broke our draw streak. Go here. Wall chicken, of course, of course. 
Um, roll me again. I want to save this to see if we can get Axolotl. Maybe it would be better to get the Unicorn. No, I think I like the Unicorn where it is right now. In its present capacity. I think we don't want a stow, do we? Maybe we do. We do need to get a, a beetle, homie. I held food for the beetle. Oh, baby. This team's looking kind of thick right now. We're scaling up real nice. Oh, my lord. And more wall chickens, too? What do we get? Fox, Niala. Both good. Without a doubt. What do we get tier 4 from the stoat that we care about? Not much. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Tier 5 isn't a whole lot better. Let's just sell them, see what we get. A parrot. A 1-1 one, one parrot. We can work with that. We definitely can work with it. Let's throw in a Niala. Unless we go Fox for the free held food every turn. That's only going to work if we get the Axolotl. Hmm, <laughs> this is tricky. This is very tricky. We'll go Niala. Play the safe game. Maybe fig me? Nah, you grapes me. Grapes on you. I like grapes better. Nobody runs ailments in battle anymore. It's kind of sad. Now I just have this goofy parrot. <laughs> the 1-1 one, one doing absolutely nothing. That's not going to help much. Uh, we can wall chicken you again. Get your stats at least respectable. That's too many wall chickens. That just simply is not going to cut it. Roll me again. Maybe turtle is better. Yeah, let's go turtle here. I know you're going to override the meat bone, but I don't think we care necessarily. He's got the Jersey Devil. <laughs> That's a win for him. Maybe? Hold on. It's a draw. With the parrot doing nothing. I can't tell if it's still good to have the parrot here or not. You know? Because if they have a bunch of weakness stuff, then that'd be great. And <laughs> you get a bunch of stat scaling. They just never seem to. I want to replace the unicorn with an axolotl. As soon as practical. I'm hesitant to full send this unicorn strat. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I think we found what we're looking for. Okay. I mean, if anything's gonna work, it's gonna be this, right? So now we've got in-battle scaling. That's permanent. Please no snipes. Thank you. Oh, baby. Oh, we're so in. <laughs> we're so in. Give me some more parrots. Come on. What do we got? Um. I mean, this whole thing on the axolotl is tempting, but I don't really want to get rid of the turtle. I actually want to get levels on the turtle, if possible. Give you a potato. Come on. Ooh, yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. Walrus is also interesting. Maybe that's better than the turtle. It just might hit one of these guys, which isn't as good. So maybe not. We could also do mongoose. But then we can't keep the toy around, so maybe not. 
There's so many options for things we can do. Hard to narrow it down to things we should do. Coralie's gonna get a bunch of scaling here, so that's awesome. Beautiful. And I mean, obviously melons are broken. Melon OP. And we get this level. Huge. Um, let's see. Reindeer's tempting, don't get me wrong. I mean, you're getting plus five, plus five per turn. Same with you. Um, how much do we want to invest in these two versus getting a big guy up front as well? I think the reindeer might be worth it. It's less scaling on these guys. Oh, baby. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Yeah, we're cooking. We're cooking up a storm now. This parrot was the best thing that's ever happened to us. Stop hitting him. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Didn't bother sniping the potato, but whatever. Not salty. You are. Okay, let's go here. Freeze you. Pancakes sound great. Eat that sounds great too. Dude, I really hope we can curve out of this, because that would be so fun. And we're doing it. Once the reindeer gets big enough where it doesn't shoot through the melon, dude, he's going to pop off so hard. Give me the gingerbread. Full send it. Potato on Axolotl is going to be very important. That is our primary scaling engine. Oh baby, <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> this is actually kind of good. This is like low key, pretty solid. I was hoping we get the axolotl. I thought it was with the brain cramp. I thought brain cramp was the axolotl there. Obviously that's not true. That is not the case. Okay, what do we got here? Still no snipes, love to see it. Dude, the scaling is just incredible. It really is. I think we're just big enough, right? Oh, I didn't get any buffs. Feels bad, man. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're already 50-50. Let's see if we can get another reindeer, maybe? I and mean, there's really no reason to, I guess. These two are already huge. I don't, wait, what else do we do here? I think we're just sending it. Once these guys get to 50, I guess we'll get rid of them. Try to put in something else. But like right now, reindeer, there's no reason to swap it with anything. Like Conpeto, what do you want? You know, <laughs> there's nothing else to really get. Let's see. See if we can get a level 3 beetle maybe while we're here. I don't think I have the, the achievement for it. Level 3 axolotl, sure. Ooh, okay. I think we're alright. Oh baby, <laughs> that was a little dicey. Snipes are obviously scary. I think they always will be. Beetle me. Mm, no beetles there. More axolotls. <laughs> Love it. Love to see it. We should get the reindeer if we find another one, because I don't think I have an achievement on that one either. Ooh, how do we do against these guys? He just takes no damage insane. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> we can't even beat these weird teams. There we go. I guess we did have it. 
Um, so yeah, we're basically already maxed here. I guess we try to throw in another reindeer. Like ditch the parrot here, maybe? There's also an argument to be made that when they hit through the melon, we want to have the replenishing health effect. This is tough. But I think getting the reindeer up is going to be more important. Let's try it. Let's try it. See what we get. Um, let's go here. Start me here. Again, we need to get you cooked up. Please no snipes. Indirect snipes, that's fine. This is gonna be dicey though, I'll tell you that much. Dude, some of these custom teams are just insane. <laughs> Absolutely wild. I'm glad we got through that one. But yeah, like all these 50-50s don't matter. Kinda crazy. Come on. We're looking for reindeer, we're looking for beetle. Yeah, that's fine. Get another 3-3. Three, three. This is good. Okay. Can we get the other reindeer up high enough? Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end very well for us. The reindeers do counter this build, though. Oh, baby, we're drawing. This is so terrifying. I wish we weren't so low on health right now. I guess we had the beetle achievement as well. Okay. I think we just go for... No, we can try it. Give you a carrot. Get some permanent scaling from the, the food as well. Oh boy, this is stressful. Okay. He still has enough to cut through him. Mmm, that hurts. I think, I feel like we got it. We did really well. We got a 50-50 beetle. Skippy, this one's for you. <laughs> the beetle did not need to be here this long. But this is kind of a fun build, you know, you got Axolotl, you got the Reindeer. It's just so hard to pull off, and as we can see, there are better builds than just straight stats. Even with all these melons, you know. A lot of times the summons are just better. When you get the, the nut summon teams. But hey, I'm glad we tried it out. It was fun. We finally got this working. Ah, that, that took a while. That took a good while. I hope you enjoy. I'll catch you on the next one.